What's up guys, this is Dr. Detroit, and today I built uh, this, it's for any server or multiplayer map that has two teams. So for this one, there's a red team, or a red team and a blue team, okay, and this is a team selector, and this will be able to be downloaded as a schematic for, you know, that you can put into your server uh, with MC Edit. So you can add this to your map. Uh, this is for any server that has, you know, uh, doing something like cube control or, um, you know, any maps that have a team. Um, and this is a public server, so it's not very organized. Uh, there's players that haven't played stuff before, and, you know, so some people just run around and hit people, which is really annoying in some servers. So I built this in hopes that other people will add this to their server to make things more organized and uh, easy to use. Um, this isn't just a regular thing where you just go and then you join a team. This actually uh, puts you in a spot. So I'll kind of explain later. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is a, this will be in the schematic and I'll explain more about that later. And here we go. So, to join a team, you can either join the red or the blue. What you need to do, I have it set up so you have to stand on this block. You can have this block being here or anywhere. Uh, it just depends on where you set the command blocks. Oh, and I should say that this, this has no server plugins or anything. It just had to relies on redstone and uh, the command blocks. So, if you want one of those vanilla servers without bucket or any other plugins, this is perfect for you. Um, so anyways, you stand right on this blue block, press this button, and then you join the blue team, okay? And this is a room, and hopefully you're already in adventure mode, okay? Um, and so you wouldn't be able to break anything. There would be normally glowstone above you, like that. I just broke that before. Um, but anyways, you can see the red side, and you can see all the other players. This one is for a uh, 10 by 10 teams, so 10 people on the blue team, 10 people on the red team, okay, so for a 20 person server. Um, but if you want it smaller, you can definitely make it smaller. Anyways, so normally this is a stone pressure plate, I just have it wood for a little example. So here we're on the other side, normally you wouldn't be able to break that. But let me explain how it works and why it's good. So when you press that uh, blue button, what it does, it goes to this command block, and there's a big command, what to do, and this just teleports one person, so count of one with a radius of one, so the person standing on that blue block, um, right inside that, uh, that cube. Okay, and then what else it does is that when you're standing on the pressure plate, it will send a signal right to the block, which can, tells it that it's still on. So it won't teleport the person twice, or teleport another person to the same place. Uh, the second thing it does is it sends a signal to a piston. I'll show you. This is why I had those wood pressure plates in there right now. Okay, so it would have teleported somebody in. They're standing on the plate waiting for the game to start. Um, after they're standing on it, it goes to this piston, the piston extends, and now it's a more of a circuit. Next time somebody pushes that button, it's going to go through this command block, but nothing's going to happen because it's already powered. It goes through another um, block. It goes uh, to this block now, and this is for the cell 2. So the cell, after somebody steps on it, it would teleport them, and then it keeps going. Okay. But the cool thing about this is, let's say player one uh, leaves the game. He disconnects, so he's gone. It goes back here, so the next person that joins will be um, will go to the cell one, and not cell three. But the next person that joins will go to three, because two is already done. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's pretty cool. It works out uh, very nice. So this one, like I said, is 10. You can make it smaller, because I know 10 is a lot for teams. Um, but some servers do that. After it's done, it goes over here to a little gate. 
Um, and when they're both on, uh, I need a... so let's say they're both on. Okay, uh, the signal comes back up here, and this is more like the admin moderator um, op box. This light will turn on, okay, and that means that there's 10 players on each side. So the game's ready to start, and then all they have to do is press this button, which will go around to all these command blocks, okay, and each one will teleport, teleport each player right to the field. And this is the second uh, point where you want to make sure that there's only 10 people on each side. So let's say somehow um, they got bugged and something happened and there was more than one person in each booth, which there shouldn't be, but it's possible. Um, so what would happen is this would be a one count again. So it would only teleport one person in each one of these things to make it completely fair. Uh, and I did this because um, there was one way that somebody could, oops, somebody could uh, trick it and they could go in each one and then they could log out um, and then log back in when the game was about to start and then that team would have an unfair advantage because you would have too many people. Um, so yeah, these would just be one counts and it's, it's pretty good. I'm hoping that people will start using stuff like this on their server. You don't have to use mine, you can make your own. Um, but yeah, like I said, this will be able for schematics. Um, what I'm gonna do with each one of these blocks, or command blocks, is I'll have a sample command in here. So it'll be this, but without any, it'll look something like this, and then you just fill in the numbers. And I'm gonna do this with all of them. That way it's very easy to set up and you'll just be able to type in a few numbers. You just had to find out the coordinates for your map and then they'll be all set for you. Um, if you want also, I can make this smaller for you. So let's say you need something for a four by four team. Uh, I can easily cut this and uh, give you the schematic for that. But if you're using MC Edit, you should be able to cut this easily. But like I said, if you want me to do it, I can definitely do that for you. It's no problem at all. Um, and this, you know, you can change this. Um, I was thinking you could definitely add different commands here for whatever type of style map you want. If you want it, I don't know, if you want to turn it daytime, nighttime, um, different toggles if you want uh, drops off, uh, mobs, griefing, and all that stuff. So anyways, um, let me know what you think. Make sure you tell your server about this idea and that it would help your server a lot. Um, like I said, you don't have to install any plugins, a uh, few commands, and then it's all set to go. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time.